Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've done the foundation series, so I wanted to bring you guys another video. And this one is very special because one of my friends requested it. She really loved this look, so I decided to film it. And also it's very special because it is a drugstore look. This is all drugstore makeup, and I'm so in love with this look. I love it so, so, so much. So I'm really excited to show you guys. And I'm really excited to show you guys today too because I just hit 10,000 subscribers this weekend. So I'm so excited excited to show all 10,000 of you this beautiful makeup look <laughs> and I want to just say thank you so much to everyone who subscribes to my videos watches my videos and leaves the sweetest comments and really supports me on all social media not just YouTube but I connect with some of you guys so much every single day and it means so much to me to interact with you guys so from the bottom of my heart I love you guys so much and I'm really excited to show you guys this look I didn't do like a heavy contour with it. I really wanted to keep it fall appropriate and just to kind of be like glowy, nice and fresh and of course incorporate this dark lip because you know last week we did the fall transition video and now we're fully diving right into fall. So I'm really excited to bring you guys some more fall looks and of course Halloween is coming up so if y'all have any requests leave it in the comments below. I was thinking of showing you guys some of my old past. Halloween looks and showing you guys what makeup I did for that. So let me know what you want to see. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to start with this Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. I really like this foundation because it has SPF in it. It's really nice and smooth and it reminds me of the same consistency as the Lancome Tint E Doll. So I'm going to show y'all how I blend this into my skin and I'm not going to speed this clip up right here because I want to show y'all that it matches my skin but the SPF in it does give like an ashy kind of white cast. So beware of this if you want to go out and get this foundation. And to combat this I went ahead and used another foundation on top. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you have darker skin and you get some white cast back from foundations with SPF in them. And I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte right on top of that just to bring my skin to a normal color. And this is one of my favorite mixtures right here. And also, L'Oreal is just my favorite foundation in general. I reached for this one before I reached for some of my high-end foundations. It keeps just getting matte all day long and looks so flawless. So I really love this foundation. Any drugstore foundation out there, I would highly recommend this one over all of them. For eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. It's in the darkest shade and I'm going to use the dark shade right there. And I'm just showing you guys that I use the wax first to hold my brow hairs in place. And then I start to carve out my eyebrows. Sorry, that's a little blurry. But I start to carve them out at the bottom, just figuring out where I want the arch to be and then just slowly starting to fill them in. And then I also clean them up with concealer as well. I haven't showed you guys how I do my brows on camera in quite some time and I know that I have a brow tutorial but I just wanted to show you guys right quick in this video. Next I use my LA Girl Pro Conceal as an eyeshadow base. Then I took this Makeup Revolution Bronzer Palette and I mixed two of the light shimmery shades together just as an under the eyebrow highlight. And then I took this dark brown shade right here, well medium brown on me. Um, it's kind of skin color for me but I just wanted to use it as a nice transition shade before I went in with my other shadow colors. Now I'm going to take my NYX contour palette and I'm going to take this dark brown shade right here and I'm going to use that as kind of like a cut crease just to give my eyes some definition. So I'm showing y'all in kind of slow motion right here where I went, I stopped kind of like mid point of my eye, of my crease, and then just went to the end and then blended that in just to show y'all the process of where I blended it exactly. This 
this month in my Ipsy glam bag, I got this really cute trio of eyeshadows. It was like Ipsy times NYX collaboration. And I thought these were really, really pretty. I will list the shadows down below because I know that not everyone is subscribed to Ipsy. So I took this middle shadow right there. It's kind of like a shimmery brown one. And I just put that right in between my outer corner of my eye and where that cut crease is. So I didn't take it all the way in and I left it kind of like on a diagonal to the outside. It's kind of hard to explain so that's why I zoomed in really close so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And you can't see it that bright on camera right now but you will see it later because I packed on a lot of it. And next I'm going to use these Vegas Ney Eye Lore Lashes. These are so beautiful but I zoomed in so much because I wanted y'all to see that it said Easy Elegance but these are not easy to put on. They look beautiful but they are such a struggle to put on. I don't know what it is with Vegas Ney and the lash band. She has a couple lashes out with Eye Lore and they are just such a struggle to put on and I don't understand but they're so beautiful. And then I realized I still had one more to put on after that struggle. <laughs> So next I'm going to use my NYX two timer eyeliner and I'm going to take the felt side and I'm going to go right on top of the lash band like right on top just to cover up any eyeshadow or any lash glue and then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal telescopic mascara just to mesh my falsies and my real lashes together. Now I'm using my NYX dark circle concealer and I'm just pressing that under my eyes just to conceal any darkness or discoloration. Now I'm going to use another new product. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and I really love this one a lot too. It's really soft and smooth and it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product under your eyes. And it looks like there's a lot but there's really not. It's just so light that it looks like I'm packing it on but I promise I didn't use that much. And since it was so light I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer right on top of that just to make it a little bit darker, a little bit closer to my skin tone because I don't want my under eyes to be too bright. I'm going to set that concealer with this matte color in the Makeup Revolution and then the yellow color in the NYX palette and I'm going to set my concealer under my eyes and also do a little bit of highlighting. So I'm going to take that on my upper lip, down my nose, center of my eyebrows and a little bit on my chin. I'm going to go back to those NYX and Ipsy shadows and I'm going to take the lightest shimmery one and I'm going to go under my lower lash line with that and in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm also going to take that out to my very outer corner where it kind of wings out because I want it to be really shimmery and bright right there. I thought it would be a really nice look. And of course I use my Maybelline Great Lash on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take the medium brown shade in the NYX contour palette and I'm going to start to warm up my face. I didn't want too dark of a contour for this look and this color looks perfect. It just gives your face some depth, definition, and just makes you look like you're glowing. So I thought it would be a really nice compliment to this look. Next I'm going to take this The Matte Blush by Makeup Revolution in the color Nude and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. This color is a little light for my skin tone but I really love the way it looks because it just gives your cheeks just a nice rosy glow when you don't want too much blush to be too overpowering on your skin. And I'm going to take this gold shimmery shade in the bronze palette and I'm going to start highlighting with that one. I used quite a bit of this because it was really difficult to make it show up. But I wanted just a nice subtle highlight. I didn't want it to be too bright. So I thought it was a perfect look for the makeup that I had going. So I put that on my nose and on my cheeks and a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. And as usual, I set my makeup with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Now 
Next, I took my NYX retractable lip liner in the color natural and filled my lips in with that and put it on the outer edges of my lips as well because I am going to be doing an overfill with the matte lip cream that I'm going to be using. I used the Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the color Elusive and I love this color. It's perfect for fall, just a beautiful dark purple color and I thought it really brought this look to life. So this is the final look guys. I really hope you enjoy it. As usual, all products will be listed in the description bar below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.